So before we get into the video today, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, before I do my makeup, I like to do face masks sometimes just to make sure my skin is like really good and clean before I put makeup on it because you don't want to put makeup on dirty skin. So I just washed my face. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my, I'm going to be using my Tammy Detox Mask. So I like to use this because it really does get into my pores and suck everything out before I put makeup on it. I also do use it before I um, go to bed sometimes just to like clean my face. Oh, I almost broke it. I almost broke the applicator. I like to use it like every other night or every other two nights before bed just to really clean my skin out. So this is how much I've used so far. So I do take a thin layer because the mask is kind of, I wouldn't say it's kind of strong to me. So I like to take a thin layer. You don't want it too thick because the thicker you put on a mask, the harder it is to take off. So I like to use a thin layer. Just take it like this, sweep it across. And then just thin layer. And I don't always put mask all over my face. My problem areas are my cheeks and my jawline. So that's mainly where I focus my product. I love to get it on my pores because I got some big old pores on my cheeks. So anything that can make them look smaller i do find that when i use this mask my pores look a little bit smaller you can tell they're definitely clean so i don't think i'm gonna put it i'll put a little bit on my forehead just a little bit just right here because i do have a, like a tiny pimple on my forehead and between my brows a little bit so really thin layers I like to let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, normally 10 minutes, unless I just forget to wash it off. I know how it is when you have on a mask and you just don't feel like getting up to rinse it off. Let me tell you guys a little bit about this mask. This mask does contain three superfood ingredients. That is matcha, lemongrass, and bentonite clay. I believe I said that right. The mask is cruelty free and vegan, which is really, really great. Um, natural ingredients, you know you're not putting anything crazy on your skin. I do notice whenever I take this mask off, my skin, it just looks it just looks brighter to me and it just feels refreshed. It looks so smooth and I can just feel a difference. Normally, whenever I do it before bed, when I wake up the next morning, my skin just looks like I spend the day at the spa. I'm gonna have the link to this down below. You guys can use my code SHANB15 if you wanna save 15% off at checkout or SHANB20 if you wanna save 20% off at checkout. I really do highly recommend you guys get it. Like, I love it. It's really been helping my skin. It's drying up pretty good as you can see. So after it dries up, I'm gonna rinse it off and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get started on my everyday makeup routine. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm just going to be telling you guys what I'm using. I'm, I, I feel like everything is pretty self-explanatory when it comes to makeup, so I hope so. so. I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm using. When was my last video? Let me see what my last video was. <clears throat> my last makeup related video oh you know what I, I privated it I didn't like it so so there's no makeup video on my channel anymore besides like my super old ones and then the last one that I did was eight months ago so I feel like some of my products have changed I don't know if too many have changed but I'm just gonna be showing you guys this is how I do my makeup now I keep my makeup very I would say minimal, but it's like a couple products, but to me it's minimal because it's not like eyeshadow, all that, none of that. So this is my skin. Um, oh, and this is after I use the mask. So look at my skin, it looks really nice. I'm working on getting rid of my dark spots. I'm gonna give you guys a skincare routine because what I've been using has really been helping me to like keep my skin really smooth and it's been helping. I gotta stop looking at myself. I should probably close that because I keep looking at myself, but I'm not going to. So I'm gonna move my mirror over. Hopefully this is a good little view for you guys. I was gonna film my room, but I didn't like the light in there. So I can't wait to have a space where I can just film. And I have to film in the bathroom. I wanna start with my, I've still been using the ColourPop Brow Boss. This is in Brunette. I like for my brows to be um, very light. So I do use Brunette. 
been using this for a while so let me fill in my brows and come back i feel like brows you just can't talk you just can't talk during brows so let me just fill them in real quick and i literally 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 do my brows quick just watch i don't do too much i don't try to make them super straight looking or anything because for one i don't like the whole super defined looking brow i like my brows to look thick and messy because i have thin brows but well to me they're thin so this is literally how i do my brows And that's it for my brow. Well, I just kind of, can y'all see? I feel like it's not focused. Wait a minute. Okay, autofocus wasn't on. There you go. Don't look at my wig, but autofocus wasn't on. So that's my brow. Um, I'm guessing it wasn't on the whole time. Sorry. And I just kind of go through and brush it to get rid of like any harsh lines. Brush, 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 brush. And then I take, this is new. I love this stuff. This is the NYX brow glue. This stuff, oh my God, like I've, I've used like so much of it. Can y'all see how much I've used? I love it. Um, I need to get a new one. I bought this probably like two months ago, maybe a month ago. And I've almost used the whole thing. I don't even wear makeup. Like every day, I barely wear makeup, but I put this on every morning. I have to go to work or wherever I'm going because it just literally makes my brows look just put together. I don't even feel my brows in, I just put this on. Like, I like the laminated look, but I'm too scared to get my eyebrows laminated because I barely have eyebrows. So like, what if they fall out? I don't want to do any of that microblading stuff. I just like, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with having thin brows. So let me do this side. This is my struggle brow. I hate whenever her hair is just like. Let me do my struggle brow. It's hard for me to see this one because of the way the light is. I need to get me a light mirror, a mirror, a lighted mirror. And I could have sworn I just said it was hard to talk while doing brows, but here I am talking. You know what, maybe I should just get a mirror. Just do like that. That would be smart. I don't even try to make my eyebrows look identical because they're not they're not identical, so I just fill them in. However, they're shaped. It's just whatever. Is that good? Okay, and then brush the product. You don't want too much of this on there either. Because if you use too much, it will kind of like flake, like a gel, like a hair gel. Okay, those are the brows. They look crazy. This is, these are my dream brows. This is what I want my brows to look like every day. So next, I'm gonna apply my um, primer. I'll be 
forget what I do first. Okay, so I applied this one first. This is the nose. This is the Touch and Soul No Problem, No Problem Primer. Um, love this stuff. I went back to it because this stuff just really makes my skin feel so good. It's so good. Anymore. Now I will have everything linked down below, so you guys can try it out if you like what you see as I do my makeup. And I also don't go under my eyebrows anymore with concealer because like I said, I don't like the super defined brow look. I just don't want my makeup to look too, like I'm doing, like I'm trying too hard anymore. <laughs> like I just did it in 10 minutes, basically. And then I use my Becca um, Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Love this stuff, I put it on my nose. Anywhere I get oily because it really is matte and it's going to help me. And you have to take it and like warm it up between your fingers and like pat it. You don't want to rub it because it'll ball up. So I just put it all in this area. And a little bit on my eyelids because they get a little oily in right here. finally washed my little Laura Mercier puffs. If you guys would have saw how disgusting they were, you would talk about me. They probably hadn't been washed in like a year or two. It's nasty. So then I take my Laura Mercier translucent honey. Translucent honey. This is the one that's like, oh, oh my. God. I'm just wasting it. You gotta get back in there. Anyways, I was trying to show you guys the color. Can I like get out the frame? It's like a orange, like a yellowish tone, and I just set my primer, especially where my pores look like craters at, and my chin and my smile lines because they crease like crazy. And then next, I'm gonna do my foundation. I need to get a new <laughs> foundation because I'm still using my little tiny NARS one because the day I went to buy the foundation, they were out of the big one. So I'm in the shade Macau and I'm gonna be using my Juno and Co sponge, the original. I think this is like the original one. I like these way better than the new shades. So, was that everything before I move on? I think so. See, look, I'm running out. I'm running out. I don't even know what to consider that. How many pumps? Full pumps. And then just blend, 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 blend. Something looks off. I don't know. Y'all see that? I love this foundation. Oh, I'm like never ever gonna change up my foundation. I tried using that Cover FX one. I tried using Too Faced. Uh, there was another one I thought, and I just, I can't. I just can't stop using this one. Like, why try to fix something that's not broken? This, this is my, this is my foundation. This is what it's meant for me. It's not meant for me to do any other foundation, so I'm not gonna do any other. I, it feels like it's so late in the day, but it's only 11 in the morning. I got up early to do this. I had to put my wig back on. Speaking of wigs, I have so many wig videos I have to do, you guys. And I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I have so many to do. I think I have like six or seven wig videos. I need to do it. I know y'all are tired of wig videos, which is why I'm giving you guys this video. Well, I mean, I'm assuming you're tired because I'm low key tired from doing them. But, um, I'm gonna start vlogging. I keep saying it, but I'm gonna start vlogging because that's, that's the content that I want to transition to is like vlog lifestyle material content. So, I'm gonna start vlogging. What am I gonna vlog? I don't know. I don't know. I don't do nothing. 
I pack comments um, asking for vlogs, but I'm just like, I don't know what to show y'all. I don't do anything. I don't do anything. We're in a panoramic. I can't do anything. So I just work and come home, but we got some things coming up though. Big life change coming up. And I'm gonna be excited to tell y'all about it when it happens. That's something to look forward to. Maybe I can vlog that day. <laughs> I don't know though. Okay. I have a habit of blending for way too long. This used to be my problem area. Can you believe that? Like my um, dark spots used to show through my foundation so bad. That's how I know I'm making progress with getting my skin on the right path and just clearing up all my dark spots because they used to they used to just bust through and now you don't see them. And now you don't see them. So next is what did I do next? Concealer, duh. Concealer, duh. I've been using the Smashbox um, Studio Skin Flawless 24 hour concealer in medium dark warm. I've been mixing it with another concealer because it just isn't like really the color that I was going for. You can see it's kind of light. It's kind of cool toned, even though it, to me, even though it says warm, it looks cool to me. So I use that first and lay it down like this. Take a little bit and put it right there. See, I don't to do too much. On my chin, rub my lip. I can never do a straight line down my nose. And I've been using this because it's like super. Can y'all see that? It's like super warmish. This is the. Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in Deep Olive. And I literally only use a tiny, tiny bit because it's so yellow or golden. I don't know, can y'all see that? How much I just put right there? I don't feel like this camera's focusing. But only a little bit, cause you don't want too much. And then just a tap on my nose. You may notice I didn't put anything on my forehead because I don't like to put too much on my forehead. I'm just gonna take what's left on the sponge and then put it on my forehead. So I'm gonna let this sit under my eye a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend this part out. I'm gonna do my eyes last because I don't like to blend my eyes too quick because um, it helps to cover up the darkness, there's not really that much darkness with it. And then just lightly blend. Let me look into the mirror. So I don't want to be like looking down from you guys. Oh, you know what? Oh, I just put that on my eyelid. I don't like putting concealer on my eyelid anymore. Dang it. Oh, now I gotta do this one like that. I don't like to do it because I just feel like it makes my eyes look so light. forehead a little bit so then I take what my sponge that I use for my foundation and kind of go around the edges and on my eyelid too because I don't want it to be so light dang I wish I didn't do that okay and yeah I 
barely put anything on my forehead. I'm still using my same Makeup Revolution um, foundation stick in F16. Like that's all I have left. That's all I have left. And then my brush, I just take it and I was gonna swirl it. I'm just wipe it off. Put some on the back of my hand like this. Not even a lot, cause I'm running low. And then like swirl my brush in it. Color. This looks a little red. Does that look okay? I have another one, but I think it kind of matches my skin tone. Oh, okay. That was almost a mess. too close to my mouth anymore. So why I don't put too much foundation on my forehead because I'm just gonna do this anyways. So I already have a small forehead, but we're gonna make it smaller. I actually bought this thing to try the marshmallow primer. I didn't like it. I did not like it. It just didn't do what it needed to do for me. I'm gonna put this Too Faced Lip Injections on her. While I'm finishing up, so I'm, I'm really almost done. I'm almost done. I gotta sit under my eyes before they crease. Oh, see, look, my that's why I don't like to put too much on my eyelids because they be creasing up. I'm gonna take my warmer seed powder and just sit. I was using the Beauty Bakery Plantain. For a minute but it's just like a little too yellow for me a little too yellow and i just always find my way back home which is to laura marcia i just always find my way back home kind of put some on my lids and uh, i'm gonna browse a little bit I look ghostly. I feel like I put too much though. Did I? I think I put. I think I put way too much. I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna. I can't talk. I'm gonna push it in with my sponge too. This is something new. I've been using the Fenty Beauty powder in Coco Naughty, the Sunstalker bronzer thing. The last time I did my video, my old, my video, the last makeup video I did, you guys were asking me what brushes I was using. I am using the Nazanin Kavari, the BH Cosmetics brushes. I don't think they're available anymore. I don't think they're available anymore. So, but these brushes are amazing. So I can't link these. They're gone, but. I'm using the number three brush if you guys I don't know what you could compare this compare this to because I don't really no brushes like that I really get into makeup anymore so I just know enough about makeup now to do my makeup I used to want to do makeup as a makeup artist but girl it ain't for me 
I was using the um Benefit Toasted Hula Bronzer, but it's just so red. So like if I want to add a little bit of extra, I'll put just a little bit, but I'm good with this. Okay, and then I'm going to go under that just to set, mainly just to set that foundation that's under here, not really too much to define that. I don't want, I really don't like when it looks too defined, which that's probably too much, but this is a nozzling brush too. Sorry guys, these are really the only brushes I use now because it's just that good, so like this. I don't know if that's doing anything. Can y'all see that? All right. Next is blush. I'm, I'm gonna be using the Kylie blush. This is in the shade Rosy. I, I thought it was gonna be like that color, but it's really, like, this is the color on the back. This is the color on the inside. Okay, it definitely isn't picking up the true color on camera. But I just take that and I take this Morphe M530 brush and just I love blush. I am a whore for blush. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, but Oh, you know what? I didn't even do my nose. Contour my nose. Is that too much blush? There is never too much blush. At least to me, it's not. Here's another new product. I've been using the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I freaking love this mascara. So when I first got it, when I first started seeing it, I was like, that mascara can't be that good. I'm like, why does it keep selling out? It can't be that good. So then my mind started to wonder. I watched a video and this girl, lashes, touching her freaking eyelid. Of course, I don't really have eyelashes like this. So I'm like, it's not gonna do nothing for me. No eyelash really does anything for me. So I've been using the L'Oreal False Fiber one for forever because it makes my eyelashes longer because there's the fibers in it. But I was like, there's no way that Maybelline mascara worked for me because I don't have lashes to begin with, you know? So I do curl them first. Let me curl them while I'm talking. But I was just like, there's no way it's gonna work for me. So then I finally decided to get it. And when I do finally decide I wanna get it, it's sold out. So I bought a waterproof one. It was like a black brown color. That was the only one I could find. So I bought that one. I was like, let me just try it. I just feel like waterproof formulas are different than the regular formulas. Oh, that hurt. So I finally got the black is black not waterproof life-changing look at how flexible the wand is so you can just like get all up in there in the little creases so i did just curl my lashes and then watch this it's not gonna be a big difference i don't have eyelashes anyways but just watch how pretty they make my lashes look or it makes my lashes look can y'all see that Girl, girl, look at that. I hate when I get mascara on my lid. Like if I just take my time with mascara, I can really get it to do some things I've come to realize. Cause normally I just like rush and slap it on. But when I take my time and then good things happen. And I like how it doesn't make them, I guess this is more like a volume and length type of mascara. Cause it kind of spreads my lashes out and it doesn't like clump them up. I'm saying that as I have a clump right there, but it doesn't clump them up. It kind of spreads them out like a fan. So they don't want big spider lashes. How does that look? Does that look pretty? I mean, I can 
expensive. You can't really tell because I don't have eyelashes to begin with, but just just wait till I get the other one done. Just wait. You just wait. Let me get that little clump off before I get on my skin. Look at that. To me, it's a difference. <laughs> It's a difference to me because I don't have eyelashes, so. And I just kind of push them up. Oh, just a little bit on my lower lash line, just a little. I don't really like my lower lash line to be too dark. Let's see if I can get up close to show y'all. Look at that. It's cute, right? To me, it's cute. Y'all don't have to like it. I like it. Okay, y'all know I'm, I'm like a freaking diehard fan of the Kim Kardashian lip liners. I got like every brown one. Well, the original ones. I got nude. I have nude 2. Nude 2.5 and nude 3. But I'm going to use... No, I'm going to use nude 2. I was going to use my ColourPop BFF3. But I just feel like I don't want too brown today i want this one so just line look at that look at that and these go on so smooth i had this pencil for about two years now and it's lasting me maybe a year i don't know i'm like obsessing over kkw everything lately i bought like three of her perfumes um, I bought her face mask, skin face mask, favorite face mask. Never ever gonna wear a different face mask. I love those face masks. And obviously the KKW lip liners and lipsticks. I need to get some more. I want to try those mauve ones. Kind of overline the center because I like the look. The color I use for, I broke this somehow, like the top will not stay on. I don't know what I did, but this is a nude four, and I literally just take it. This is the color of it, it's so pretty. Can y'all see that? So pretty. Just take it and... And then I'm gonna take new 2.5 and then just kinda go right here. I do get a lot of questions on what's my lip combo and it's literally it. And guys, I think You consider this natural. I have my little thingies. Let me just spray my face a little bit just to get rid of all the powder if you look. Although I do like the powdery look. Super matte. That's enough. We don't like too much. That's it, that's it, that's it. This is my natural everyday makeup routine. I keep it super simple, guys. I don't do too much. I do not do too much. If I'm wearing makeup, this is what it is. If it's not this, then it's nothing. So, she's cute. I really like this, I really, it's just so, it's just so light and I feel like it's gonna do really well. 
for the summertime. Probably not gonna be wearing that much makeup during the summer because this makeup, a mask and heat, not gonna make. So let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think that's that's really all I do. So I'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys. You guys can purchase some of this makeup if you like it. It's not too much. And I don't really think mm, some of the things I use are kind of expensive. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have everything, everything linked for you guys. Don't forget to check out the Timmy Detox Mask that I mentioned earlier in the video. I highly, highly recommend you guys try it. I'm gonna have my codes down below, the link down below. Everything's gonna be down below so you guys can check it all out. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later. I'll be back with more content of me talking. I should talk more. I know you guys wanna know me. I know y'all wanna know me. I'm gonna talk more and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.